Imagine a time when legends walked the earth, a time of heroes and epic journeys. In the midst of this ancient world, there was one figure who stood out among all others, a man whose name has echoed through history and mythology alike. This is the story of Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord, a ruler whose legacy has been shrouded in mystery and awe. The tale of Nimrod begins in the book of Genesis, where his story is woven into the very fabric of early human history. Born as a great-grandson of Noah, Nimrod rose to prominence in a post-Diluvian world, a world rebuilding itself after the Great Flood. But who was Nimrod really? Was he a mere mortal, a king among men, or something more? As we delve into the biblical accounts, we uncover a figure larger than life, a ruler whose shadow loomed large over the ancient world. The Bible introduces Nimrod as the first on earth to be a mighty man, hinting at his extraordinary stature and capabilities. He was born in the generations following the Great Flood, a time when humanity was rapidly expanding and forming new communities across the lands. Nimrod, amidst this backdrop of growth and change, began to carve out his own place in history. But it's not just his lineage that sets Nimrod apart. The scriptures attribute to him a unique title, a mighty hunter before the Lord. This isn't merely a reference to his skills with the bow or spear. In the ancient context, being a mighty hunter also implied prowess in leadership and warfare, indicating that Nimrod was not just a hunter of beasts, but a warrior king, a leader of men who could conquer and protect. Nimrod's rise from the descendants of Noah sets the stage for a story that intertwines divine providence with human endeavor, a narrative that will lead us into the heart of ancient civilization. The narrative of Nimrod takes a grand turn as we delve into the realms he established. Genesis paints a picture of Nimrod not just as a mighty individual, but as a founder of kingdoms, a ruler whose influence extended across the ancient landscapes. His first kingdom, the scriptures tell us, began in Babel in the land of Shinar. Babel, which would later become infamous for the Tower of Babel incident, was the starting point of Nimrod's legacy as a ruler. From there, his realm expanded to include great cities like Erech, Akkad and Kalna, marking the emergence of a powerful empire in the heart of Mesopotamia. This expansion of territory under Nimrod is significant. It wasn't just a growth in land, but a spread of culture, technology and civilization. Nimrod, as a leader, wasn't merely conquering territories, he was building the foundations of what would become some of the world's earliest urban centers. But what was life like in these ancient cities under Nimrod's rule? While the Bible doesn't give us detailed descriptions, historical and archaeological insights paint a picture of burgeoning urban centers where art, commerce and religion thrived. Nimrod's cities might have been hubs of innovation and cultural exchange in a world that was still finding its feet after the flood. Yet, there's an air of mystery that shrouds Nimrod's empire. How did he manage to build and maintain control over these cities? Was his rule benevolent or tyrannical? The Bible leaves these questions open, allowing us to ponder and speculate about the nature of his reign. In the grand tapestry of biblical history, Nimrod emerges not just as a character, but as a symbol of human ambition and the complexities of power. The story of his kingdoms is a tale of civilization's early steps, of humanity's relentless pursuit to build, conquer, and leave a mark on the world. As we delve deeper into the saga of Nimrod, we encounter one of the most enigmatic and enduring stories of the Bible, the Tower of Babel. While the scriptures do not explicitly name Nimrod as the builder of this tower, his association with the city of Babel and his reputation as a mighty ruler lend credence to the theory that he may have been involved in this ambitious project. The story of the Tower of Babel is a tale of human ambition and divine intervention. The people of Babel, driven by a desire to make a name for themselves, embarked on building a tower that would reach the heavens. This act of hubris, however, did not sit well with the Lord, who saw it as a challenge to divine authority. In response, God confounded their language, causing them to abandon their project and scatter across the earth. 
The connection between Nimrod and this tower is a subject of much debate and interpretation. If Nimrod, known for his grand ambitions and mighty deeds, was indeed at the helm of this endeavor, the Tower of Babel could be seen as the pinnacle of his attempts to assert human authority and achievement. This story, set against the backdrop of Nimrod's reign, can be interpreted in many ways. Was it a testament to Nimrod's overreaching ambition, a symbol of mankind's potential for greatness, or a cautionary tale about the limits of human power against divine will? The Tower of Babel, standing as a monumental testament to human ingenuity and ambition, also serves as a reminder of the diversity and dispersion of humanity. It's a story that resonates with the themes of unity and division, themes that are as relevant today as they were in the times of Nimrod. In the narrative of Nimrod, the Tower of Babel is more than just an architectural project. It is a pivotal point in the biblical narrative, a moment where human ambition and divine will collide with dramatic consequences. Nimrod's influence in the Bible is multifaceted. As a powerful leader, he was at the forefront of establishing some of the earliest civilizations after the Flood. His rule marked a significant period in human history, a time when societies were forming, cultures were developing, and the human race was multiplying and spreading across the earth. But more than his earthly achievements, it's the symbolism of Nimrod that resonates through biblical history. Nimrod stands as a symbol of human strength, ambition, and perhaps overreach. His story is a reflection of humanity's relentless drive to build, to conquer, and to make a mark on the world. In many ways, Nimrod embodies the spirit of innovation and the complexities of leadership. Yet, his legacy is not without controversy. In some interpretations, Nimrod is seen as a rebellious figure, challenging divine authority, as potentially evidenced in the story of the Tower of Babel. This aspect of his legacy invites us to reflect on the balance between human aspiration and humility, between earthly power and divine will. Nimrod's legacy also extends into how we understand the spread of cultures and languages. If linked to the Tower of Babel, his story becomes a pivotal moment in the scattering of peoples and the diversification of languages, a turning point in the human journey. As we look back at Nimrod's life and reign, we see more than a historical figure. We see a character that has shaped our understanding of early human civilization. His story, shrouded in both glory and mystery, challenges us to ponder the depths of human potential and the responsibilities that come with power. In the grand narrative of the Bible, Nimrod's tale is a powerful reminder of our ancient past and the timeless lessons it holds. His legacy, etched in the pages of scripture, continues to intrigue, inspire, and provoke thought to this day. In reflecting upon Nimrod's story, we see a character who epitomizes the complexities of early biblical history. Nimrod, a mighty hunter and a king, represents the human qualities of strength, ambition, and the desire to build and rule. His story, interwoven with the development of early civilizations and possibly the Tower of Babel, offers us a glimpse into the dynamics of power and the interplay between human achievement and divine will. Nimrod's legacy in the Bible goes beyond his earthly accomplishments. It invites us to ponder deeper themes of leadership, responsibility, and the consequences of human actions. His role in biblical history serves as a powerful reminder of our ancient past and the enduring lessons it holds for us today. In the end, Nimrod's tale is not just about a historical figure, it's a narrative that challenges us to reflect on our own journey and the balance between our aspirations and our humility.